All right, hello everyone. Um, so I don't have very long, this is lightning talk. Um, scorpions are really, really interesting, but I don't have very long to talk about them. So I'll just give you a really quick overview so that we're all on the same page. Scorpions are arachnids, arachnids are chelicerates, chelicerates are arthropods. Uh, I'm sure you all knew that. Um, there's about 2,000 described species. Um, they're found basically all over the world except where it gets cold, so you don't find them in Antarctica or the northern high latitudes. Um, they're all terrestrial predators. They basically eat other arthropods and small vertebrates if they can overpower them. So, why am I interested in them? Well, I think there's two fundamental problems with our interpretation of their evolution. So that's what I'm trying to address. Um, this is a sort of brief history of scorpions in terms of um, uh, decades of phylogenetic analysis. Um, I don't have time to analyse them all for you, but what I can tell you is they don't add up with each other. Um, essentially, there's a discordance between the molecular hypotheses and a discordance between morphological hypotheses. So, how can we address that? That's the first issue. Um, the second issue is that there is basically no temporal element to all these um, analyses. These are all um, exclusively expand plates. There's been very little work to integrate the fossil scorpions um, in a modern phylogenetic context. And that's a real shame, because there's an excellent fossil record for scorpions. And not only is it a good fossil record, um, it's a very important fossil record, because scorpions are one of the first terrestrial arthropods. So that's really interesting. There's a lot they can teach us about uh, terrestrialization of arthropods, which is a massive event in, in the um, Earth system because arthropods are so dominant on the land. Um, yeah, and there's a number of stem lineages of lineages proposed that um, have never really been tested for their monophyly or even their taxonomic composition. So, how can we bring together fossil scorpions and extant scorpions in the same evolutionary context to better understand the macro evolution? Well, I'm going to try and do something called total evidence dating. So total evidence dating is a way of combining all the evolutionary data that we have um, on a clade. So the molecular, um, the molecular data, the morphological data in both extant forms and extinct forms. And, and total evidence dating is a way of bringing all those, uh, all those disparate forms of data together into a single um, analysis to simultaneously generate a phylogenetic hypothesis, but also estimate your divergence times. So if that doesn't make sense, I'll try and visualise it for you. Um, normally, when we, make a when we do a phylogeny and we want to use, say, a molecular clock to estimate divergence times, we place our fossils onto our tree that we've generated as nodes. They're called node calibrations. Um, but then you are assuming that you understand already the uh, phylogenetic relationship of that fossil. Whereas if you, do, if you include them as tips, if you do tip dating, you include your fossils in your, uh, your partition matrix when you do your phylogenetic hypothesis, and uh, when you generate a phylogenetic hypothesis. And then you're also including them as phylogenetic data, not just as temporal data. So your fossils are informing phylogeny as well as um, uh, the temporal aspect, the dating aspect. So what have I done so far? Um, I have made, so, so, so far over the course of my MSC project, I've made um, a molecular phylogeny. It is not that surprising. It's similar to previous molecular phylogenies, but it's based on different data. And um, this is uh, based on scorpion transcriptomes, so it's essentially a phylogeny of the proteins of the group. Um, and the next stage is to um, finish building a morphological matrix for extant scorpions, and then we already fortunately have um, a morphological matrix for fossil scorpions, and we want to combine them all together to generate a tip-dated total evidence phylogeny for scorpions. So I think that's probably about all I've got time for. <laughs> I'd like to thank my supervisors. Um, Jesus Lozano Fernandez, David Legg, David Sani, and Gregory Escombe. Um, and I'd like to uh, very much thank the Bristol Alumni Trust because they gave me a shovel man to come here. Thank you very much. Thank you.